Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to use the Bitrise CLI to run Project Scanner locally and run all the things you need to do locally. This can be great if you want to connect, you know, to your private GitHub Enterprise or some private network. So basically what you're going to want to do is run brew install Bitrise. That will install the CLI. The instructions are here. And then once you've done that and you're inside your, your project, so I'm inside this project here. I'm gonna run bitrise init. Um, so what this will do is this will start the project scanner that we run on the website but locally. So this means it can it can use a pre-checked out code base to do all the things it needs to do. Okay, so it detected an iOS app uh, and a Fastlane app. Let's just go with iOS for now. And we're gonna do development. And you can see here already, it's created a Bitrise YML and a Bitrise Secrets.YML. Uh, the Bitrise Secrets is where you can store your secrets since it's not going to be able to pull them from the website. It's just going to pull them locally. And now that I've done that, I can say Bitrise Workflow Editor. And this will basically spin up a local host server that will run the Workflow Editor. So this will allow you to actually see the the workflow that it's created. And you can see it's created a deploy workflow here with the X, Xcode archive. So now if you wanna make changes to your workflow, you can do that directly here. And when you save that, that's gonna modify your Bitrise YML as well. So any changes you make here will be mirrored onto your local Bitrise YML. So that's a really simple way to get set up. There's more documentation as well if you want to follow along there as well. So you can see the Bitrise init that I ran. And then this is the Bitrise workflow editor command. So once you've done all that, you can basically then run your workflow. So let me go back and just uh, put back what I changed. Forget exactly what I moved, maybe this. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's open up a new tab. Do bitrise run primary, right? And this primary is going to be the workflow name that you want to run. So if I hit that, it's basically going to run that workflow locally. So, you know, it, it will skip a number of steps, right? We don't need to activate the SSH key. We don't need to clone the, the repository. Uh, we don't need to pull any caches. And uh, we're literally just going to run the workflow as it's needed locally. So you can see here, it's gotten down to this step and now it's running Xcode test. And this might take a little while to complete. And then it will do a deploy to bit rise and a cache push. Now these will probably get skipped since it's all running locally, but this should be able to validate, you know, that you can add the app, you can configure the workflow and you can run it uh, on Bitrise. And once you've confirmed all that, then you can put your Bitrise YML over onto the, onto the Bitrise website. And what you can then do is you can add your VPN step. So, you know, when, when you're doing this, it's, it's obviously going to be needed to connect to your private network, which is why you added the app uh, locally, right? So once you configure your open VPN or your Cisco VPN, you'll be able to then run this on the Bitrise website now that you know everything's set up. Awesome. Well, thanks very much and catch you next time.